everything. 255 here. What up? What up? All right, yo. This is the, the bottom line. Bottom line when it comes to Street Fighter 6. If I like the way Akuma is designed in the game, I'll buy it. Am I now changing my mind? No, I said this in a few weeks prior. I will leave a link to that video below. So I didn't change my mind. I'm still not buying this game. I don't like the art design. It, it I, I can clearly see that they learned from the past, but what we'll learn past mistakes that they learn from, you know? All the Street Fighters up until four. It's what they learned from. Quite honestly, I look at Street Fighter Four and Street Fighter Five as weirdos in the system. I actually liked five more than four, but I feel like Capcom is kind of going back to its roots of the way, but it's going away. It's always been an anime style of uh, art design. Will I say that it can't be a good fight game? I'm not going to deny that. They could make this a great fight game. Maybe it might even be the best Street Fighter Five. I mean, Street Fighter of all time. I'm not going to deny that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, there's a whole portion of classic Capcom fans that supported the series up until now. And this new art design kind of feels like you you mushing us. And if it's in terms of grow, then grow. But I don't want to hear no complaints from developers or nobody about old Capcom fans not supporting the game. Now, looking at the responses of people universally, it seems to be widely accepted. People have been overwhelmingly positive about it and haven't seen too many negative responses to it. That's cool. I just hope I hope people keep that same energy until June 2023. Uh, the character roster got leaked. So, I mean, if you want to see that, I'm about to show it in the screen coming up right now. and Talk about that, which is why I started off with uh, Akuma, because he is one of the main casters. I mean, that character roster leaking doesn't mean they can't change it. 24 characters for opening single fighter fighting game roster. Okay, that's respectable. If it's tagged, okay, all right, makes more sense. But, uh... Listen, when people buy fighting games, right? When people buy fighting games, they buy them because they like the character or maybe they like the mechanics, they like the art style. But when you play a fighting game, you're spending a lot of time with that character that you pick. So fighting games are really sold on characters. That's why games like Marvel vs. Capcom did so well or Dragon Ball Fighters did so well. Or even Street Fighter, for example, or Tekken. People pick one fighting game character and they hyper-focus with that character. They learn that character. That's why it's a main. And when I see an art style and direction that doesn't make me like most of the characters, why would I buy it? Why would I buy that? Why would you buy that? And if Cap, and if this is hugely successful, more than likely we could probably say bye to the old Street Fighter. They're going to be trying to go... And they've been trying to go in this direction for a while, if you think about it. Look at Street Fighter EX3, they went that direction. So it doesn't really surprise me. Um, funny enough, I do like the way the character roster looks, but the way it looks and the way it's animated in the game are two different things. Now, I do have a, a kind of a theory or a guess. The costumes that we see early on in game is looking that way except for like a few characters it looked pretty all right and it uh i do like akuma's design but like ryu's like, why did they have ken wearing this ugly jacket with these red pants he just fake terry bogart looking you don't get that nonsense out of here yo like real talk i think they're doing that so that they can spend more money so that we'll spend more money on DLC costumes. I think that's why they're coming out. They may even come out with a young Ryu and fix it, but that art style got to be correct. It's nothing new. And I'm saying people seem to embrace it so that it works, but I think they're coming out with these early, ugly DLC costumes so that we'll buy other versions of the character. Maybe they'll have a cell shaded mode. I don't know what they're going to do, but I'll be lying to say the game doesn't have a lot of potential and that the FGC community thus far... 
right? And let's be clear, this is June 3rd, the day after. Everyone still seems hyped about it. Cool. Cool. But let's see. Let's see where Street Fighter 6 is going to be after launch, after a beta, or in a year from now where you where the trailer is in hype and we can look at more of the basic gameplay. I look at Luke Super, and that junk is, is abysmal. It's asinine. It don't do nothing for me. It might do something for you. It don't do nothing for me. So that's that's what I'm really thinking about. You know, and quite honestly, uh, if Capcom's going to keep going this way, well, so long to Capcom. I played a few classics. I will play the Darkstalker Collection. Um, maybe they'll surprise us to come out with some anime games. I'm really, I'm really more of an Arc System fan. This is kind of me like my signing off. And look, I'm gonna be real with you. I might cover the trailers. I might not cover the trailers. You know, but it, I don't really feel inspired to cover this game no more. I'm talking about it right now. It's a hot topic, whatever. And I've been a Capcom fan. As long as I've been a child, I've known Ryu. As long as I've known some family members. And I've known Ryu as long as I know some class members of people. So it's it's not, you know, a lot of those fans have been doing this for a long time. You know, there's a heavy, heavy investment in this. Uh, but it is Capcom's IP. And they have the right to, what, to do what they will with it. But uh, if you really look at it, Capcom's been doing this for a while. They've been ramping up to try to go this way. And you look at even the original Street Fighter V designs, it was showing that. So, I need to get this off my chest and rant. Um, maybe, hey, this is not definitely not going to be my last video on Street Fighter VI, but doing a video when I focus on the game mechanics and all the new stuff like that, you know, if I did that, it would just be me being phony, like me just doing it so that y'all, so I can get some easy likes. I'm not going to do that because I'm not really feeling the game. I feel like I'd be fronting with KOF. I did it because I was actually feeling the game. There's some characters I was feeling, but, you know, so that's why I covered it. But I'm not going to sit here and cover a game I currently have no intention of buying outside of critically analyzing it or praising it, depending on what goes on in the future. So tell me, Deep Minds, what are your thoughts about this? Uh, you know, how do you feel about this direction that Street Fighter is going? Do you also want to be part of uh, the... New Street Fighter 6 hype? Or do you want some of that classic Capcom style, Arc System style? Or maybe you got room for both. And maybe you say, hey, Capcom, all right, cool, you're doing that. But don't forget about us classic fans. Give us a new fight in the IP that harkens back to the Alpha days. I kind of hate that too, though. I was about to end the video. Yo, I really hate, like, yo, I really hate the fact that they keep comparing this game to Street Fighter Alpha 3. When this game really though, like real talk, this game is just, it's like a, a, a Street Fighter Mega Mix all. They got, they got all type of homages to Street Fighter Alpha 3, but for me it looks like a big Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5 mix up. I'm just waiting to hear about a, a, an over, a V Drive, uh, the direct, whatever that thing is, can the direct, the command gauge attack or the driver attack whatever it is i don't care i, I mentioned it yesterday in the video a bunch of people talking about it man so it's whatever but uh it's not coming from somebody who just started playing street fighter 5 i've been playing since street fighter super street fighter super street fighter 2 turbo the, the street fighter movies the alpha d's the third strikes cap converse snk all of that so you know this is a long time fan but yo see so each generation is own you know, it's kind of like Final Fantasy XIV. I, I liked Final Fantasy XIV, but it's not my game type. And it's a whole different video on that, maybe. But uh, this art style really throws me off. And so the mechanics, I don't really care about too much. But if they do a Kuma right, or they give me a Kinshiro or some character that I like, depending on how, if they animate it and they fight kind of like Jamie did, I might give it a chance. So this is 255 out. One.